hello friends so welcome again to this problem solving session again uh, this session is uh, to solve a problem related to euclid's division lemma and application of euclid's division lemma now uh, the question says and uh, we have seen that how to approach a question first try to gather all the information after reading the question and then we'll see what um, and what should be the approach of solving that question so prove that this is the question so prove that what one of every three three consecutive positive integers this is the information three consecutive positive integers is divisible by three so this is what they are asking us to prove so let us take an example to understand so every example of three consecutive positive integers so six seven eight these are three consecutive positive integers and then say they are saying one of these so one of these is divisible by three indeed indeed one of three one of these three is divisible by three this one is divisible by three so this is three into two so hence yes looks like it's true okay so let's take another example so another example could be 11 12 13 okay so this is example one example one and this is example two so let's say we are now we are now just trying to understand whether whatever is given is actually valid or not so example 2 is 11 12 13 and clearly this number 12 is divisible by 3 so let's say 20 example 3 example 3 you can take example 3 example 3 could be let's say 27 28 29 yes this is divisible by 3 another example fourth example could be 101 102 103 so again this number is divisible by um three another could be so you know there are there could be uh infinite number of such examples so let's say one not again three one not four and one not five so if you see this number again is divisible by three so every set of three consecutive positive integers one is coming out to be multiple of three okay so how do we generalize this observation so uh how do we start so actually this is the key if you see this three this three is the hint that we can start expressing any number in the form of any positive integer again in the form of what all 3k 3k plus 1 and 3k plus 2 isn't it so any any number can be expressed as 3k 3k plus 1 3k plus 2 any positive integer and any um, let's say you any three consecutive numbers will be so uh, 3 3 3 consecutive 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 positive positive integers integers are of the form what are of the form what kind of a form so they will be if the first is n second will be n plus 1 and third will be n plus 2 isn't it so first is n second will be n plus 1 third will be n plus 2 you can also take you can take it as n minus 1 n n n plus 1 this is also again you can these three numbers if n is where n is n is a positive positive integer so if you if you take it like that if you take it like that then there are multiple ways you can express so let us take this expression so n n plus 1 n plus 2 and now let us say case 1 case 1 let's say n is n can be of what all form n can be 3k form this form n could be this form and n could be 3k plus 2 only three possibilities of uh, expressing n into n as a you know multiple of 3 and some remainder so n let's say first case is n is 3k form n is of 3k form okay so uh, if you see if n is 3k then our problem is solved anyways why because the three numbers will be so the three numbers three consecutive consecutive integers integers would be what integers would be 3k then 3k plus 1 and 3k plus 2 clearly out of these three 3k is multiple so this one is multiple of multi multiple of 3 so case 1 is valid so case one case one holds true holds true 
let us take the other two cases what are the other two cases let's say let's say if case 2 what is case 2 case 2 is when n is of the form 3 k plus 1 so first case is n is 3k second is n is equal to 3k plus 1 then how what 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 will happen so the three consecutive again three consecutive consecutive integers would be would be what all 3k plus 1 and then the next number will be one added to it that is 3k plus 2 and third one will be 3k plus 3 so clearly if you see the third number this one so this number the third number this can be expressed as 3 times k plus 1 hence hence a multiple of of 3 so again case 2 also holds so one of these three case 2 holds true okay for case 2 also this is uh, this is correct now take us let us take case 3 what is case 3 case 3 when n is is equal to 3k plus 2 this is the third case one case is 3k second case is 3k plus 1 and third case is 3k plus 2 isn't it now if n is 3k plus 2 then 3 consecutive 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 means continuous successive consecutive integers integers would be would be what 3k plus 2 then second one would be 3k plus 3 and third one will be 3k plus 4 out of which if you see if you this if you take uh, this this number this one this is this is of the form of the form 3 m or 3 k fi because it can be written as 3 times k plus 1 hence we say that that so hence hence a multiple of hence a multiple of 3 okay so hence we see in all the three cases hence this also case case 3 also holds true holds true so in all the three cases we see so so hence 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 in all the cases in all the three cases in all the three cases one of one of three three consecutive consecutive integers positive consecutive positive integers positive integers is a multiple multiple of three hence hence proved hence proved so hope you understood the question so uh, or the solution and uh, this was what just a recap so question was proved that one of every three consecutive positive integers is divisible by three that is is multiple of 3 so we take took three cases when n is 3k 3k plus 1 and 3k plus 2 and in all the cases we evaluated three consecutive integers and in in uh, one of the three cases was always of the form or where was always divisible by 3 hence proved thanks for watching this video we will be having more number of problem solving sessions in future thanks a lot